Okay, I'm gonna wait again until this thingy disappears. <coughs> Good afternoon, my name is Jakub Lisowski. I'm one of the London School of Emerging Technology students and I study software automation testing, Selenium Java. Um, today I wanted to talk about access modifiers in Java. So let's start from what they are. So they are keyboard, keywords, apart from one, um, that said the accessibility of classes, methods, and other members. Access modifiers are a specific part of programming language syntax used to facilitate the encapsulation of components. Um, so we have four different modifiers in Java. It's public, private, protected, and default. Um, and when I said they are, uh, they are all keywords apart from one, uh, I meant default. Because uh, this is the only one that has no keyword and is defined by just not writing a modifier. So if there is, um, for example, if we want to um, make something public, we put public first. Yeah. When something we when we want to have something default, we just don't write anything. Okay, so the first method, public. The public access modifier is accessible everywhere. It has the widest scope among all of the other modifiers. So it, it's pretty much uh, everywhere, uh, accessible from anywhere. Uh, this modifier is commonly used for methods and the variables that need to be accessed globally or by external classes. For example, a public method in a class can be called from any other class in the program, enabling interaction and data ex exchange. The next thing, private. The private access modifier is accessible only within the class. Uh, so nothing else apart from the only, only class. Private members are often used to protect sensitive data and provide controlled access via public methods known as getters and setters by encapsulation, uh, encapsulating data and exposing it through controlled methods, we can enforce validation, maintain cons consistency and provide a clear API for external interactions. Another method, protected. The protected access modifier is accessible within package and outside the package, but through inheritance only. The protected access modifier can be applied on the data member method and constructor, it can be applied on the class. It provides more accessibility than the default modifier. And the last default, if you don't use any modifier, it is treated as default. The default modifier is accessible only within package. It cannot be accessed from outside the package. It provides more accessibility than private, but is more restrictive than protected and public. So yeah, as I said with the keyword before. Mm. And this is the summary, just to show a bit better everything that I just explained on the graph. I, I personally found it more like helpful for me. Um, so yeah, as we can see with the public, it's accessible everywhere. So same class, same package. A different package, subclass, no, no subclass, literally everywhere. Mm, private, only in the same class, nothing else. Default, it only doesn't go outside the different package, so it doesn't matter if it's subclass or non subclass, it doesn't apply to different package. But with protected, it, it's kind of different. Because um, it applies with uh, to to different package subclass, but doesn't apply for non subclass in different package. So, yeah, I found it more helpful. So I think it, this graph might might show um, a bit more of understanding and like yeah, it might help to underline everything. Thank you very much.